Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be a helicopter themed one. <clears throat> I wanted to do a helicopter one for a while. The inspiration came to me uh, when I was setting up for an event. I saw an army recruiter booth right next to the door where I was going in and out, bringing my stuff in. And for some reason it hit me, but I was thinking more of a military helicopter. The one I have, I, I, it's hard to find a military helicopter. Uh, small enough to do a painting on. So I have this helicopter. I found it. It's actually a matchbox. I've already taken out of the box because I actually did the painting for this, but it didn't turn out well. I'll show it here in just a second. But so this is actually a police copter. I didn't realize that when I bought it, but that's fine. I just want a helicopter one. And so what I want to do is over water and, you know, just the, the, the spread of the water from the, from the, the wind or the air coming off of the blades of the helicopter, <clears throat> which is going to be a circular pattern and it's going to be blown out. So the first one I did just the other day, and this is it, and it's still not a bad pour. It's kind of a neat pour. I'll probably just keep this one just to, just to go ahead and sell like this. But what happened with this one was it's still a little wet, so I don't want to touch it. Just a hair wet in a couple spots. I had the rings on it pretty well, um, but the white kept sinking, and it did sink even more after while it was drying, and then it actually kind of ran off a little bit this way because the rings were right there, which now you see it kind of going off there on that side. It's just it's just gone. So with the white sinking and there's not as much white on there now, um, this isn't what I want for the helicopter. I mean it. It might possibly go good, but I want more white in it and more rings. So um, I decided to do another one. So I was thinking, how can I, how can I get this to where there's more white and the white doesn't sink? So what I did on that one was I put all the, I did a dirty flip cup of blues, three different blues, which I'm going to use again tonight. Excuse me. And I did that covered the canvas, excuse me, and then I just put rings around and blew it out with a straw. So, and that's normally what you do like for a Dutch pour type, like what this is going to be. So my thinking was it, it won't sink. Let's say, say I put a, uh, in the center, I'm going to put white and then I'm going to put a couple of rings, of, uh, you know, get a space, pretty good space and not a real thick thing of white, but a ring of white, probably the center one and then two rings, at least two separate rings. And then I'll fill in the rest of the canvas with blues. And then I'll be able to blow the, the white, the blues and the whites out together. And that white won't sink because it's already just on the canvas. So it can't sink underneath the blue paint because there shouldn't be any blue paint in theory. So well, it won't, shouldn't be. I mean, there'll be some blue on it from blowing it around. So that is the plan tonight. So all I got to do is mix the paints. I got a canvas on here. Um, the, the thing I had my, my canvas sitting on last, the other night when I did this one, I did level it with the, with my level, but, um, I checked it again with the new canvas and it, and I did notice that it was just a little bit leaning this way. So I, and that's, the, where the the paints drifted off at so i was going to try to clean it up a little bit but it's getting late and i have some cups down on the side that i did some a uh, bunch of coasters on which i need to do more coasters so i did uh i put it on there and i leveled it it was a little bit more level so i'm going to try it on this one and so all i gotta do is mix the paint so the paints i'm going to be using tonight our Master's Touch Thalo Blue, right there. And then I'm gonna use Master's Touch Lake Blue, so it's a little bit lighter blue. Got a deep, rich blue and a lighter blue. And then I'm gonna go with Master's Touch Aqua Green. Or not Aqua, it says Ocean Green, I can't read. And then Artist Loft White, this is the white that I buy. This is a quart. I think you can get this, I think it's 
and it lasts quite a bit for ten dollars for that uh, compared to this this tube you know is 10.99 said 10.99 so this you get this for a dollar less than this so it's a good deal um i don't use i use artist loft in the white and black this is the only this is the only two colors that i pretty much exclusively use on artist loft i do have i do buy the blue and the red and i use that but i have different shades of blues and reds as you just saw I, you know so i i don't use that exclusively but i do use them and then i just recently bought my first jar or my first first one of this in yellow so those are the materials i'm going to use again i use pro marine resin and <clears throat> so i'll probably mention that again when i'm resining it because i usually try to tell how many ounces I use for size of canvas and where to find that information online to be able to do it. So all I got to do is mix the paints in and we can get ready with this. Okay, I know a lot of people strain their flow trial. And this is why. I didn't, I didn't strain mine, but this came out of it as I was pouring it in the cups. <laughs> Dripping. So for those of you that do this uh, that's why you want to strain it that is a very big one that's probably the biggest one I've ever pulled out of a flow trawl but uh, usually it's just little pieces I can usually dig them out so I've not really had any problems with it so I don't strain them so anyway but I wanted to throw that in there and also that this is flood flow trawl so you want to get the latex based flow trawl so this is what i buy i go through a lot of gallons of this stuff um i get it me personally i usually get it at menards and lowe's and home depot i i can't really find it there very often and but they sell them in the gallon and they sell it in the, the quartz and i think I've, I've said this in some videos before the gallon is $12.99 or some it could be $13.99 it's one of those I think it's more closer to $13 than, than uh, $14 but uh, a quart is almost $7 just under $7 so four quarts in a gallon four times seven is 28 I can get two gallons for the buying it in the gallon size compared to doing it to be less money than buying four quarts for one gallon. So that's a little tip uh, you can take and uh, save some money that way. All right, I got the paints mixed. I've already leveled this, but for those of you that are watching it, my stuff for the first time, I take the level, just have a little, little level here and make sure it's level. And of course, the reason why is because if it is not level, <clears throat> if it's lower on this side, your paint will slide as it's drying. It it's it goes really slow, so you really can't see it like if you're just standing here watching it. But it does go that way. Uh, so <clears throat> I've lost a couple paintings because I didn't check beforehand, just thought, oh yeah, it looks level. And then I've lost a... A really great piece that I had um, so let me adjust this camera just a little bit it's a little bit different for all right so I'm using a 12 by 12 canvas just gonna pour a little bit in the middle I know it's not a very good ring I'm 
points. Excuse me just for a little bit. Gonna use my smaller brush to or my smaller palette knife to get this spread out a little bit. I have to add some more white. I already lost it there, darn it. Blues kind of took over the white there, didn't it? A couple spots. We'll have to put some more white in there. Just trying to cover up the the edges. I I'm the one that doesn't like the edges with any canvas showing I know there's some people that like to have no paint on the edges at all I've thought about that on some but I that would work better pretty much with a like the level three canvas that's an inch thick Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more white. Right in there. And right there. And right there. Well, I lost a lot of white, didn't I? I'll put some more right in there. I'll save a little bit, but in case I need it, some more white. I've got a little bit of blue left. I need some more blue. Which I do think I want to put something in the middle of that. Probably too much. So here we go. I decided to blow it with this instead of the hair dryer.
Well, that definitely has more white in it than the other one. Losing it over here a little bit too. Scrape the bottom off of this just to get the paint from. I'm gonna lose a bunch of it that way again. Okay, so you can see. You see the white is sunk there pretty good. I've covered up with the blue. Just gonna add a little bit more. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Hopefully it doesn't flow more that way. So like you'll have the helicopter sitting right in here. Or whichever way I decide to do it. So I think it'll be looking good. So. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I promise. All right. This one is dried. I have it taped on the back. As you know, because of the, the droplets dry on that from the resin. And it's easy to pull off. So that's what I do. And I'll do that in the morning. This is a 12 by 12 canvas. I'm using Pro Marine resin. And this one is a uh, different size than the regular 10 by 20s so i had to look up in the art resin calculator on on their website i plugged in the canvas size of 12 by 12 five ounces all right five ounces total resin so that's two and a half of the hardener and two and a half of the epoxy it's very it's different for me to do that small of an amount but I can live with that. Doesn't seem like it would be enough to, to cover this whole thing, but it better be. That's what it said. So.
get this all spread out. Now I have the helicopter ready to go. I had to put some weights on it on the front end because it was tilting back towards the back and I don't want it tilted back towards the back. I want it to sit on there as straight as possible. So that's why it'll have some, I just took a couple of uh, my jewelry cabochons, taped them together with some scotch tape and then taped them to the to the one of the blades on the on the chopper and that should hold the chopper from leaning back while it's drying. Once it's dried, then I can just take those weights off of that front end. This is not the first item that I've used where I've had to, <clears throat> excuse me, had to uh, excuse me, I got some resin on my hands, so I want to get it wiped off real quick. It's not the first item I've had to use that I had to prop up or put weights on. When I did when I did Thor's hammer, it was like that because the handle stuck out. It would it actually would drop down onto the canvas. So I had to prop that one up. I actually tied some wire to the end of it and hooked it to my tripod camera holder that I got right here. But the camera's in, but my phone's in right now. And the Millennium Falcon one, I had to do that too. And I think the Unicorn one I did, I had to prop. I actually put some ceramic tiles that I use for coasters. Put those on, the, on top of it to hold it flat. You know, the, I came down tonight, was my wife usually goes to bed fairly early and she was staying up tonight. I don't, and like I said before, I don't like really come down here and painting. I mean, I will, but if I have time to spend with her, even though we're sitting there watching TV or whatever, not doing anything. I kind of don't want to just come down here and paint and leave her down there. So I was kind of waiting. She usually goes to bed early enough that I still have, you know, I'm still going to stay up for a little bit. So that's when I come down and paint. And she was like, she was like staying up. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'll paint late tonight. And she all of a sudden went, oh my gosh, what am I doing up? It's, she didn't realize it was like already 10.30, almost 10.30, and she was still up. So she, as soon as she went to bed, I came down here and started painting. And I painted, uh, I painted one already, and then I knew I had to resin this piece, or I wanted to resin this piece. We had actually kind of a relaxing day today. We didn't uh, we didn't actually go to church. We watched our service online. Uh, we just kind of felt like staying in all day. We didn't do anything. 
and so it's been kind of a nice relaxing day. I did come down earlier and paint some coasters, but she was down here making her wreaths, so I didn't feel bad, which she's would be just in the next room, so. All right, now so I gotta find a good place to set this thing. I don't know if I should go right over it or I think right there. All right. So you can see the weights here. I've got them taped to the the blade of the copter there and that will hold it flat if not it was actually the front was kind of raised up and this was almost touching the the canvas so that'll work that'll work that'll work so all right so if you like this video hit the like button uh i want to thank everybody so much i've hit 100 subscribers i appreciate all of you and i thank you very much our next milestone will be 300 um so um we're working on that so please uh give this one a like if you haven't subscribed yet hit please hit the subscribe button and as always if you comment on this i will try to comment back reply back to you um i try to do that on everyone so, and as always, thanks for watching.